You good? Oh, you know, good. actually, I gotta, I gotta admit though, I've come to realize, I, I think it's really, really, really gross. But for some reason, parents think it's adorable. When you know, you got a baby in like a, the, the high chair or whatever, with like, like a little tray in front of them, and then they get like food all over the tray in their face and shit. They think that's like adorable. You know, you know, yeah, like no, that's gross. it's all over their face and stuff. I'm just like, that is really gross to me. But there was like, oh no, it's adorable. Here, hold your knees. I'm like, no, fuck you. I do not want to hold that knees right now. You clean it and I'll hold her. <laughs> Maybe. Just, I don't know. I, I, it's just really. Give me a drink or two and we'll talk about it. <laughs> you down wanna. with the hose. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but for some reason, my family fucking thinks that's adorable for some reason. It's weird. I don't get it. <sighs> oh well. Scott sounds like a jealous bitch XD face. Of who? I don't know, actually. It's just you you're a you jealous have to, you have to put a person bitch, in. apparently. I guess I'm jealous of Bill Gates. I'm jealous of. I'm jealous I'm, of Bill Gates. Yeah, we're all kind of jealous of Bill Gates on the inside. I thought of Apple first. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> that was a great sentence. <laughs> I thought it was. Uh, but... Bill Gates is apparently, like... One of the nicest fucking multi-billionaires out there, apparently. Yep. Like, doesn't he, like, donate yeah, so all of you. his money? Pretty much, or, like, half of it? Lime jelly. I wish I had five billion dollars. Be like, hey, here, take it. <laughs> well, he's donated upwards of like forty some odd billion dollars, I think. That's yeah, the it's last ridiculous. time I looked, anyway. It's yeah, it is because that forty billion dollars. That is a lot. You know what you call what those you people? Call them? A philanthropist. You know what, what is that? Of? What That's is river. that? A philanthropy. <laughs> the Hudson River. <laughs> Bill Gates is a little beer. <laughs> <sighs> Word. <sighs> John, how did you feel at the end of Burial at Sea without spoiling it? And I feel, um, what was your emotions? Strange boners. <laughs> of course. If you got a boner at the end, that would be really bad. That would be pretty bad. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I liked it. It seemed kind of a cheap. It's it's like it's a minor fuck you. I don't know. Well, it was good. I think but... it's the best they could have done. Really, there's not. Well, there's not really much else we, they we, could we, have there's done. There's no way we can we can talk about this without spoiling it. I know, so. I know, that's true. But I, mean, oh, I well. feel like it was a little, uh, a little cheap. Yeah, I enjoyed it at least. It was good. I think I would have enjoyed it more if I actually straight up did play Bioshock One and Two. I just know the stories in general. Yeah, like, I never actually went through. Them. Seeing, seeing uh, like, a lot of I played the... the beginning of both, though. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. It's just... Eh. I'm done with games. <laughs> I still need to play Uncharted 3. Yeah, you do. Yep. 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 Oh, well. I you played all these games. No, wait, not Uncharted. Never mind. Uncharted's... I was thinking of uh, Far Cry 3. Oh. Have you played Far Cry 3? No. Oh man, Far Cry 3 was really good. I actually beat that for once. That's what I, hear. I, I say that every time I mention it, actually, now that I think about it. But yeah, it's yeah. it's a good game. That means there's the Christ It does, it does. And I don't give that out a lot. I beat if it. If I beat a game, that means it's a good game. Gunpoint, that's a good uh, indie game. That's only, that's beatable in like an hour or two. But it's like a nice little, uh... Is that the one where you punch people? I think it is. It's the one where you're like, it's like a 2D perspective and you gotta like go into a house and, or not you're a- like a detective? Yeah, and, and you got like a gun and you gotta like go you do shit. Tackle people and you punch them forever? Yes, that's it. That's gunpoint. Yeah, that, I, I enjoyed that one too. It is good. Yeah. <sighs> do I want to have kids when I'm older? Yeah, sure, why not? Why, Why not? not? I don't know. But your niece was a pretty good example. Well, at least my niece and nephew are good examples of why I don't want children. <laughs> no, no, no. My niece is great. It's just. Just. She needs to eat cleaner. <laughs> Still, only problem. Well. 
And learn how to poop <laughs> on her own. Well, everyone has to learn how to poop. Such a hassle. It's like, you know, everybody poops, everybody learns to poop, too. Oh. That's it, not it, true. It, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm almost positive. <laughs> pretty sure everyone knows how to poop when they start. <laughs> Alright. Knows how to poop in the toilet. How about that? Okay. Like that. Bums if they don't have toilet and they got squatty pies. Then that's fine too. That's squatty just pies. as good. Holy shit, you hear that thunder? Eh. Oh. Damn. Great I like time. it. Know really who guy. asked who out? Probably. Alright, who asked who out? I asked Scott out. Bro, I Fuck! So I'm going to prom alone. Sorry. Going to prom alone again. <laughs> That's terrible. Cause I had to repeat my senior Sorry. year. Go to prom. <laughs> That'd be yearly know. prom. I understand. I'm checking your weather, Russ. I'm concerned for your well-being. <laughs> okay. What, uh, what area in Texas again are you? Like, I don't know what kind of information like, you're looking for. In the middle. I live in DFW. The fuck. Dallas Fort Worth. Ah. That's like a general region gotcha. in Texas. Crab, what time do you take your pre-stream naps? I took my pre-stream nap this evening at uh, oh, eight. Cold. Yeah, eight, eight it's or eight thirty. Cold over here. Last night it was pre freeze for you. Yeah, you're 20 degrees freeze under us right now. Jesus. I thought Texas was pretty warm was though. Nice. Was it? It was. Like, two days ago it was like 85 degrees for 24 hours a day and I was sweating my balls off and then we got a cold front and it was like 40 overnight. Jealous. I had to close all my windows and quit freezing my bowels. <laughs> now, you're, now you're freezing your bowels off. Mm-hmm. Are you going to play the... Wait, what was that? The remake of it or the sequel of Dreamfall? I don't think it's a remake. I think that's a straight-up sequel of Dreamfall, actually. But, yeah, I, I want to. It looks really cool. Hmm. Cry, will you play some music, like some dubstep or something? Well, uh, Russ is currently hosting. Uh, if you want to play some music, that's fine, Russ. No, they want to I, do it. I'm... I just play, play music it for and tell myself. them you're doing it. Okay, I'll just mm -hmm. press play on my one amp. That's what they want. All right, I'm currently listening to Favorite Twenty Hours. That's good. If you get to the five minute and ten second mark, you can listen to it with me. I guess I don't know. I don't yeah. even. Russ, are you a walrus? Okay. No. What? Are you yes. a cat? Russ, how did you meet Red? Uh, met her through Joe. Now that the internet knows who Joe <laughs> it's is. Sure, Joe is the cameraman. Mm -hmm. Alright then. Oh, we did a stream like Wednesday. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's right. You guys play. Yeah. What did you play? No, Grishal. That's free. right. Did you... How far did you get? Uh, I'm about to go fight the Fear. Oh, isn't that the guy in the swamp or whatever? No, he's not in a swamp. He's like in an obstacle course. And it's like you got like go towards him, and there's like a bunch of dead things around you or whatever. That's a sorrow. There's like ghosts. Nah, that's a oh, sorrow. that's a sorrow. It's okay, sorrow. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, he's like one of the last uh, guys in the code reunion. Okay. He, is, he is the last one, right? Not the joy. Oh, that's deep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, do. We like I was when I was replaying it and they're doing the bridge scene where the the uh, boss yeah. infects. I notice he says this is a joyous. Oh, bitch. that punny son of a bitch! You don't know he's being yeah. a douche, but and he's and then he was all kubara kubara. <laughs> Excellent. Which Ooh, what do we think still. about the new Ninja Turtles movie? Have you I don't like have you, you mean, seen the trailer for it? You mean the ones that are the one that makes them aliens? Yes. Yes. Shrek's even. Oh, With I didn't know Kubara. Kubara means knock on wood, Gross. basically. Yeah, it's a. Huh. Yeah, it's it's some kind of child thing. Ironically, it was for not getting struck by lightning. Yes, and the one time he didn't say it, guess what yeah. happened? <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. Oh wow. 
Hmm. Who's afraid of a little thunder? Pajimi, you son of a bitch. Play more Rust. Not riding. Nah. Oh, okay. Joel Heyman or Bernie Burns? Oh boy, Cheyenne's gonna get involved in this. I don't even know what that means. Bernie. Rooster Teeth stuff. Oh. I'm gonna go with Joel though, so fuck you. Sorry. Have you guys ever played Orcs Must Die 1 or 2? What did you think? If you haven't, you should try it. I played the first I one. I like the first okay. one, but for some reason I couldn't get into the second one. I don't know why. I really like the first one. I think I beat <clears throat> the first one? Yeah, I beat the first one. But, uh, I, I don't know why I couldn't get too much into the second one. I don't know why. Even though it was, like, better in all fronts. What software do we use for our PS3 controllers? We use Motion Enjoy, right? I use better DS3. Uh, DS3. Better DS3. Yeah. yeah, there's a better version of DS3 that's not filled with malware but bullshit. But you still need, but you still need DS3 to run. Yeah, I thought it comes with it. Yeah, doesn't run. On, well, it might come with it, but it doesn't run oh, on its own. Weird. Well, this one's nicer. Malware. It's. Yeah, every time I start DS3, it, like pops up some Japanese yeah. website that I'm sure they're sponsored by. I have not had that issue. Ah. Huh. Weird. Hmm. You might have an older version that's still yeah, bad war. I'm update. using an older version, yeah. That's that, that's why. But I mean, it works just the same. I've never seen a real big change in the updates, except for more bogware, whatever you want to call it. What non-story games have we been playing recently? Uh. Don't know because I've only played Dead Space 2 and it's story oriented. Well, did you really care about the story though? Really? Yeah. Want to know what the fuck happened oh, okay. to Isaac? I didn't actually cared. What happened you to played Isaac? the first one? Nothing. Yeah. Uh -huh. I didn't just play Dead Space 2 out of nowhere. <laughs> well, I played the first fear and then I played the third fear because I said fuck the second fear even though it's supposed to be the best fear. So. Hmm. I don't know. That's what I heard I'm, about I'm Dead dumb. Space 2 and I don't agree. I get you. Think you ever played Dead Space? I played a bit of the first one. Hmm. It seemed like it'd be up your alley since it's just like Resident Evil 4 but sci-fi. And no management or inventory management. That's part of what turned me away from it, really. Hmm. You gonna play the third one, Russ? I have it, because I got it in some bundle oh, or yeah. something. But I don't know. I really don't know. I get you. Uh, when are you gonna play with Pootie Pie again? Uh, we're gonna, or at least he asked me Tomorrow. to, uh. Oh, you mean yeah. cry? Uh, he wanted me to, uh. Oh, wait. Yeah, we are doing shit on Monday. Yeah, we're doing shit on Monday, and, um. He wants to do, uh, the new Half Minute Hero, like we did the first one. So, that should be things to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Activity, so many. How did you meet everyone here? Well, let's go down the list. <clears throat> For me, I met myself when I was Amnesia. born. Uh, Snake. I met Snake through Jund, and uh, Jund brought Snake onto the stream. Why did Why did you get brought onto the stream again? Is there I, was there a reason? I don't know. I really don't know either. Okay, well, like, what did you say? You're just like, hey, come do this thing. I guess so. I literally or have no idea. Did, he said, or maybe he joined us for out, Left 4 Dead or something? I remember you asking me if I wanted to be on a stream in front of thousands of people, and I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it's, something I do. Yeah, it does. Yeah, Legit. So, Snake just joined because, you know, uh, he was Jen's buddy, and then it kind of stuck because Snake's a really great guy. We, we've we never had any issues with him at all, because he's just too fucking chill. It's ridiculous. I have a condition. Uh, he has a condition that he always wears a fucking coat, even though it's really hot outside sometimes. It also has a condition. Okay. An air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> <That's good. laughs> um, I picture one of those giant like sumo suits with <laughs> fans attached. Oh, That'd be amazingly comfortable. Next up is Russ. I met Russ because he made the Amnesia Custom Story La Casa. 
And uh, way back when, I used yep. to do a bunch of Amnesia Custom stories. That was like my flagship of like, hey, I make YouTube videos. Let's I'm the only busket do Amnesia. Cry. I'm <laughs> the busket cry. Yes, but he's funnier. No. <laughs> That's how okay. it started. Well, not, not no, not at all. Uh, but no, the best is much funnier. Oh, I, I see. I see. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> so I played his thing, and then did you contact me, or did I contact you? I contacted you. He contacted me because I was too fucking big to contact a little fry like that. <laughs> he was like a thousand <laughs> subscribers at the time. Yeah. Oh, I, I remember when we used to get like a hundred people in here we're like, wow, that's a lot. Those were amazing days back then, man. It was magical. They were. Like, every, we knew people on a name basis, like viewers and stuff. Now we only know like a handful. Mm -hmm. Like, look at this person, oh, Secret Lippy. I don't know who the fuck you are. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, it's hard to get, <laughs> keep up with everyone. One one of the videos I commented on that uh -huh. you had, Cranny Bacon replied to me, I was like, holy shit, you're slow. <laughs> Excellent. Like, I did not expect <laughs> Cranny Bacon. Fucking Cranny Bacon. Good lord. But. That's like Gary Union yeah, status. That is, that is actually Gary Union status. Um, so, yeah, um, I played his custom story, and, uh, you know, we just. Just uh, talked a little bit, got on Steam, and it was just like, hey, man, let's shoot the shit a little bit. And then, you know, that's how that went. Uh, next up, Cheyenne. Yeah. Uh, we were doing the stream. This is way early on. We used to take callers. She was a cat. She was a cat. Uh, one of the callers was Cheyenne. And uh, Cheyenne came on, and then we learned that she could play the keyboard, which she never does anymore, so she's kind of useless these days. Yeah. But uh, we... <laughs> We utilize her talents in order to play callers off from then on. So when a caller was leaving, she oh, yeah. really, it was. Yes, I forgot she, she had a purpose. These. Yes, she did have a purpose. I know, right? It was great. So she used to do the keyboard cat sound, or song, whatever the fuck you would say. She kind of fucked it up sometimes, okay. but you know, it's fine. Snake. What's up? Footman or skirmisher? Say again. Footman or skirmisher? Skirmisher. That's fair. Alright, continue. Correct. Okay. So, uh, One second, how do you check inbox in YouTube now? They change this shit. It's a bitch. You gotta go to your uh, dashboard. Yeah, and then community. Mm -hmm. It's what dumb as fuck. the ass. And then analytics, and then you gotta see your <laughs> yeah. jobs, and then you gotta upload a video <laughs> before you get to the comments. Then you have to join Google+. Plus. Oh. It's such a pain. So yeah, um, Cheyenne did that, and then she bailed for a while, but then she came back uh, a few months ago. How many how many months has it been since you've been back? Uh, it's been a while. September, yeah, I think. September? She came back in September, so now she, we're forcing her to come back because she was gone for like a year or something. I don't know how long. I have a bad trace of time. But yeah. That's how uh, that was met. And then Jund was actually met on the same exact premise as Russ. Oh, that was met? Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry. How you came to be as a Cheyenne cat. How did she come to be is as that, a cat? Is that better? Inbreeding problem. How you more metamorph metamorphosized from a cat to a human? This is a... He's an anamorph. Keyboard cat. Yeah, so That's... Gonna... <laughs> that is true. She came anamorph. back during Vulgar the Viking. Oh yeah, I did. Oh yeah. Yeah. I remember that now. We told you how shit you were. Yeah. She was really good at making me feel like a piece we of shit too. were giving you motivation. Good. That's what we missed on the stream. All this negativity. Neg all right. Negativity? Negativity, alright? I'm there sorry. It's been Don't a long it. evening. I'm there sorry. Go. Okay. Go ahead. And then John was on the same premise as uh, Russ, where John made Wake, and I played that, and he made fun of me with how he introduced the game. Oh, uh, don't forget the classic insomnia that infected everyone. <laughs> <laughs> For life, That's right. that is my oh, mark was... upon the world before I die. <laughs> this is uh, destroyed everybody. For the rest of the fuck time. source files, let's just replace that. It was always fucking insomnia. <laughs> fuck. Uh, so. This is beautiful. Yeah, he he made Wake, he made Insomnia, he made Through the Portal. Did he make another one, or is that it? I made I another one. That, he also made that weird one 
that was like Top. had pot involved. Oh yeah, well that was just for you. Yeah, you're weird. He used to like me for some reason. I don't know why. Don't forget the uh, Binding of Isaac clone. That was oh, cool. yeah. yeah, that was actually really with 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 the dog that just got bigger. Right. I'm looking back good. at the uh, first contact that I had with you, Cry. Uh huh. If it looks, the first contact between us is. I have something that says reply to your comment on Cry Plays and meet you through the portal. You said, "Don't think I still don't know what you're up to, Scott Jund." I, I don't know what that means. I don't either. What was? What did you say? I. Is there any way to check the uh, comment? I probably didn't have a lot of comments on there, so just left when you go to the video, I guess. That was back when, you know, there's sub a lot of numbers. Way back when. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Numbers. Yeah. Those were good times. Man. <sighs> Can we briefly explain the story behind the Lepi? Well, it's not really much. General idea is Jun made a cover of a song. What song was it again? I was like, I, I just found it. My comment, the first thing I have said to you was, Cry, why you no upload part three? Because apparently that meme, meme was uh, popular at the time. Oh. oh okay then. I the portal why? Because I, I, wanted, I wanted to watch it. I see. I don't know why I would have responded like that then. I don't know. Huh. Because okay. you were a little shit when you were younger. <laughs> I guess so. What, uh, what year was that? 2011 or something? 2011, yeah. Ah, oh, Jesus. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Keep going there. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what what cover was the song that you did that started the Lepi, by the way? It was a cover of something. Was it Bastion? It, it might have been Bastion, actually. What are you talking about? Uh, the the spark of the Lepi. It started because <clears throat> I was replying to one of your covers saying that I could do a shittier cover. It was on Tumblr. Oh, yes, that was Bastion. Okay, the, so... The, the, that's where you found the clip art? Yes, that's where it initially happened. Um, John made a, a cover of a Bastion song, and he said, this is my shitty cover or something. So, I wanted to out-shit him and put my own cover of the song up, and then for the cover art of <clears throat> the album... Hmm? I put I I for some reason right before I put it up I was just like okay I need an image image, fuck it leprechaun first thing that came up was the lepi I put it in there and he took it and ran with it like a motherfucker so it just kind of went yeah, on yeah I mean if you Google leprechaun it's literally the first thing you see <laughs> it is mm -hmm. yeah and then every time you know someone like uses that clip art in like a like a pamphlet or something like that or anything because it's a basic clip art that you know it's free public domain to use. And then you see it in like other things. I see the people like posting pictures of it. It's just like, oh my god, they must know or something. But no, it's just, it's just a basic clip art. We didn't make it. We just use it. Oh That's no, it. we we made it. Okay, we made it. We, we made it. We what made it, it what it is yeah, exactly. today. <laughs> we brought it to the light of the public. No, we did not. Google oh, did geez. that. Yes. How did we get to know Minx? Well, uh, Russ and I... She invited us to a she podcast did. thingy. Uh, actually, Definition invited us on behalf of her. But, um, mm. Russ and I knew of her a long time ago, because she used to do, um, videos, but then she, like, took a break for, I think, like, a year or so. But then she came back and started doing videos again. And... Before we actually got to know her, we always kind of like, you know, ingest, you know, be like, ah, girls. My barbarian was named Minx. <laughs> still is. is. My hardcore character never yep, died. Yeah, still alive. But, uh, you know, we, you know, just poke mm -hmm. fun and all that stuff. It was all in, you know, good, good spirit. Not like anything intentional. Yeah. But, um, when, uh, we got the invitation to go on a little podcast thing that she doesn't do anymore, but, uh, she did at the time. Uh, we were like, yeah, why not? You know, we get to like know the, the person that you know did a lot of stuff before I even began to do things. So it was it was a nice idea, yeah. and uh, we did that. And then we were, I I personally thought at the time that hey, she's actually pretty cool. So we uh, kept yep. being chums. You're also killing a lot of people with your horse. How it happened? Yeah, you got man. Bandits when I would jump in mm -hmm. my shit. Nah, nah. Yeah. Okay. 
How did you get to know Cinnamon Toast Ken and Markiplier? Uh, Ken, how did we get to know Ken? Did we, like, randomly just ask him? Uh, that was... Yeah, that was the, di uh, the day we were all like, you know, we need more people on here. I'm gonna just email <laughs> everybody. So I emailed, like, John <laughs> Tron. John Tron never got I his back to Eagle us. Eagle Raptor. Nope. Tabuscus. Uh, PewDiePie. Wasn't Ken the only one that got back Actually, to us, too? Yeah, Ken was yeah. the only one. And so... Then we got him to start him. Yeah, that was when Ken was a lot like smaller and stuff. But then suddenly, like we realized, yeah. wait, Ken knows everyone somehow. It's yeah. really weird, but you know, we uh, we just got to know Ken over time. He was a really nice guy. He we never had issues with him, so you know, nice guy. Now right. he's too big for us though. So yeah, how it is. Mm -hmm. But uh, Mark, I Spoon don't too. know how. I think I've met Mark through probably through Minx. I, I think, think it was through Minx or Ken. Because apparently, I, I'd always, you know, been interesting, like, maybe talking to Mark sometime. But, um, I was talking to either Minx or Ken, and they were like, yeah, Mark actually been wanting to talk to you, too. I'm like, really? So, we exchanged contact details, and then, you know, we talked to every once in a while. Nice guy. Mm -hmm. Nice guy. Just, uh, always busy and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Homie. Yeah. yeah. How did you get to know more far, Winky Face? Well, uh, he used to do amnesia videos. How can we forget yeah. him? Is well, back when the whole amnesia trend started, there was a handful of people who kind of stuck out. There was me, there was PewDiePie, there was uh, Morphar, there was... Minx. Minx. Well, Minx didn't really do custom stories. She just did the initial one. I'm thinking just like a custom oh, story people. Right. There was a few other people that was in the but forum. But she invented Mr. She Face. did invent Mr. Face. You are correct. But there was, for like, custom story people like you did those videos, there was like a handful of people that, um, that poked around. So, uh, he was just one of the people. That was there. That was a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. That was it. That was, was that what we meant more for? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 What about Spoon? How do you mean? Spoon contacted me actually uh, through a PM. I knew about him through a buddy of mine, Woody. Uh, she used to be like a really big fan of him and uh, the creatures. I think she still is a fan and all that stuff. But I had seen her talking about him before, so I was like, oh, wait a second. I should totally be a friend so I can flaunt it at her. And it turned out it was a great idea. <laughs> because he's actually a really good guy. So that was fun. What is our favorite color? Go. Green. Good. Black. I like my soul. <laughs> Deep. Thanks, Deep, Nobu. man. Someone really wants to know what happened to Battlestar. Do you want to open up that can of worms? You can. Just look for something to talk uh, about. Might as well. Just... I don't know. I'm gonna word it all wrong, so you, someone else is gonna have to do it. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, step up on any toes right now, but um, you know, just some things, you know. Uh, not a no. I guess we're not I, talking about. It. It's just it's it's one of those things where it's just wouldn't be good. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. I we know Morpho actually died. We know that. It yeah. just happens. People die, you know? I could die tomorrow. Who knows? Anybody could die tomorrow. Somebody's gonna die tomorrow. We might not know who it is, but someone will die. Broken Age is out of development, really? What the heck's a Broken Age? Uh, it's that Tim Schafer game. That one they oh. kickstarted the point and click uh, deal. Hmm. That happened like a long ass time ago. No, not really. Uh, uh, it was the Kickstarter uh, one that had episodes and stuff. Episode one came out. I th oh. I thought I'm sure there's more coming out. I don't see why it would be out of development now. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Have you heard about Hyrule Warriors? What